Hey, this is Phil. Look, we I just want to talk to you about something real quick. Um, this Gwyneth Paltrow thing. Um, this was a mess. And uh, Gwyneth kind of brought this on herself. And why is that? Well, because Gwyneth relied on somebody else to resolve the situation for her at the time. And that was a mistake. And that's a mistake we don't get to make. If you have a accident with someone, if you uh, create a situation where someone potentially gets injured, you have to stop what you're doing. I would tell you to take your phone and turn your video on, but don't try to video the scene. What you're trying to do is is get a uh, an audio recording of what's going on. Now, if you're a man that has a shirt on, uh, a a a, uh, a shirt on, a, a pocket on the shirt, you can take and turn your phone on, put it in your shirt, and a, and an Apple phone will actually stick out of the shirt pocket. So you can get some form of video of it, but you have to render assistance to whoever you hit. And you have to see it through to the finality of the person getting into the ambulance to go to wherever they need help. And you need to be the one that exchanges information, not somebody else. Um... I actually feel very sorry for Gwyneth Paltrow in this because it's very clear this man had a, a vendetta against her. And, you know, uh, just because somebody's a Hollywood actress and very successful and very rich doesn't mean that they're not a human being. So, when a con artist comes at you and spends seven years attacking you, uh... It's pretty bad. And, you know, Gwyneth has her her uh, corporate entities that she supports. And if people are willing to buy that, then more power to Gwyneth. But the bottom line is, is that this guy tried to rob her. Repeatedly. Using the legal system. So, the whole point is to protect ourselves. Uh, and I ran into this one time with a guy in a car. I was actually, he was in a parking lot, and I was trying to get around him. And, and the way that the parking lot was, uh, gravity, I, I was going down a hill trying to get around him, and his car was up like this. And he let his brakes off and drifted his car into mine. I, I watched it happen. I was like going, what the blank is this? And as soon as he got out, he said, Yeah, well, you hit me. And I'm like, going, No, I didn't. No, I did not hit you. So we, well, four hundred dollars and I won't I won't, you know, put this on my insurance. I said, Oh, okay. Let me call the police right now. I'm gonna call the police right now and they can come down and we'll have a discussion about it. And immediately the guy said uh, no, that's okay. I ain't worried about it. It's not scratch. It's okay. I said, no, no, no. Let's call the police. Let's get them down here. And let's... I, I want you to get the justice you deserve. Let's call the police down here. And we'll... Oh, no, that's okay. No, because this guy was a professional insurance scammer. And he... I gave him... It was my fault because I gave him the opening to stick it to me. And that was the same thing that Gwyneth did when she hit the, uh, was hit by this guy. She was actually hit by the guy and then assumed that there would be no repercussions because she was the innocent party. When in fact, just the interaction opened a seven-year nightmare in her life. And it is a nightmare. And it, listen, Gwyneth could have afforded to pay this guy any amount of money to make it go away, and this guy knew it, and he was depending on it. He was depending on it. That's why he dropped his amount from millions of dollars to hundreds of thousands of dollars. 
And then when we get to the court case, boy, that was a mess. And ironically, Gwyneth was the only person that looked like she had some sanity with her. So, just a strange trial and a very good lesson to all of us that if you get into an interaction with somebody, you need to document it. You need to be willing to stand up for yourself at the time. You need to stop what you're doing. If you're going to work and you're late, just be late because this is more important. If you have an accident, document it. Make sure the people get help. Make sure that you can go to court and say, I did everything possible, Your Honor, to make sure that person got in an ambulance and got to a hospital. Everything possible. They refused. They refused to go to the hospital. They refused. When I called 911, they said they refused the ambulance. It's better to get to give a 911 call and have the ambulance come and have the person refuse to be treated because it goes on record that they refuse to be treated than it is for the person to say to you, Oh no, I'm okay. I'm alright. You can go. I'm fine. Just give me your number and your, your uh, address and your phone and your entire life history so I can really stick it up your ass later. No. You have to, you have to say to them, Look, I'm calling the police. I'm calling an ambulance. You need help. I'm sorry this happened. We're going to get this dealt with. If Gwyneth Paltrow had said that seven damn years ago, none of this would have happened. If she had stopped and said, uh, turned around and said, "Are you all right?" And why did you know? Obviously, the first thing you want to say is, uh, "Why the blank did you run into me?" Why in the world were you uh, practically uh, spooning me on skis? But you got to drop the anger away, and you got to say, "Oh man, this this is not good. I know exactly where this is going. I've got to protect myself." So I've had this situation not happen only once, but I've actually had it happen like uh, three times, and each time. I stopped what I was doing, I focused on the individual, and I made the individual realize that they were facing being recorded by the law, standing up for what they were saying at the time. And each time that person thought real carefully about who they were dealing with, and that I was not going to be scammed. So the lesson of the Gwyneth Paltrow trial is, if you get into an altercation with someone, you need to stop what you're doing, record the event, call the police, if necessary, call an ambulance. You need to make as big a stink as possible as far as recording your own innocence in the situation at the time. And what this does is this protects you much later down the road. So please, if you ever get into an altercation with someone and they tell you that uh, they're okay and they asked you for your name and your address and your phone number and you exchange with them the same thing you need to say mm, I don't think you're okay I think you probably need to go get checked out so just a very interesting trial a very interesting interaction between Gwyneth Paltrow and a man who was obviously trying to scam her. I mean, the guy, the night of the incident, sent text saying, I'm famous. And this guy is a professional. He's not, a, he's not just someone on the street. He's not a, a day laborer like the guy who backed into me trying to scam me. This guy's a professional, a retired professional. So it just shows you it does not matter what the person appears to be. What matters is the incident and you protecting yourself. So I just want to pass that on. You need to protect yourself at all times in society today. Part of that includes not racing to get involved in situations that are not your responsibility. Okay? Please don't expose yourself to situations you don't understand. You might think you're the, the shining knight 
walking in the middle of an argument between a man and a woman when in fact this is exactly the way they they deal with each other every day and you get in the middle of it and the next thing you know you're the one going to jail because you put your hands on a man who was putting his hands on a woman and the woman actually has failed to file charges against this guy or dropped charges against this guy ten times in the past so protect yourself record the event call the police if necessary call for an ambulance if necessary get on record at the time everything about the event if you have to write it down in a book somewhere I actually like I don't like computers I'm old school I like paper I like writing I like having something in my car a pen pencil and stuff that I can write on I'm not you know I don't love writing stuff down on a phone I just don't protect yourself okay that's just what I wanted to say it had Gwyneth actually stopped and spent an hour with this guy on the slopes she wouldn't have to spend seven years with this piece of shit in their life so that's the lesson you need to learn spend the time at the time the incident happens to protect yourself and I, honest to God if necessary if if you need to have a lawyer on retainer which actually is not a bad idea these days call your lawyer and tell them say look I just had an incident with somebody um, I was walking through a door and I opened the door and they acted like I slammed the door in their face but I think that the store video camera shows me just opening the door like a regular human being and they slammed their head into the door you know so you start the process of protecting yourself legally because today you don't know who you're dealing with. So I just want to pass it on. Have a good one, folks. Have a very nice day.